The largemouth bass is the most widely distributed fish in the United States. The bass can attain weights up to 20 pounds, but the average size is much smaller and varies according to location. The largemouth bass is found in weedy lakes, muck, sand, and gravel bottom ponds. The types of the bottoms will affect the taste. The skin of the largemouth bass has a musty taste. If you skin the fillet, the fillet will be bland and sometimes lightly sweet. Most fish called bass are really something else. Professional anglers have made the largemouth bass one of the largest fish tournaments in the country today. All right, now we're getting ready to clean the freshwater bass. As you can see, I've already scaled this fish, removed the head and the entrails to make it a lot easier to clean. The freshwater bass requires a very good sharp knife because of the very hard, strong rib cage. The first thing that we're going to do after we scale it is we're going to start on the back, right above the anal fin, place our index finger above the top of the knife edge, come right on back. Cut up to the vertebrae like we've done on the other fish then cut down on these rib bones. As you can see, they're a little stronger than most bones. Once you've cut through, come up over the other side of the vertebrae, keeping that index finger on the knife blade at this point, cut through, then turn it around. Press down with your left hand, using the curved part of the knife, come right on top of the inside of the dorsal fin. Now we want to flip it over, press down, cut above our anal fin, hold it within the knife blade and just pull up on the tail to remove that. Now we want to come back, we flip it over, come to the edge of your board, press down with your left hand, interlock those bones like you did on your flounder, come right on back. Same method as laying a flounder, just ride your vertebrae with the curved part of your knife. Come to the top of the vertebrae, go back down on that little triangle so you don't leave meat on the backbone. Pull it through. Then you just come back through and cut through those, you can see, very strong rib bones that are in your freshwater bass. And you have a nice, smooth, pretty fillet. Read the newspaper through the backbone. Okay, now we're going to take off this back collarbone to completely have a fillet without any bones on it. Just come back against it, press it to the corner, and flip it over. Turn your knife blade up. Come on the inside of your rib cage bones. Now, put that index finger again on that blade so you can feel where you're touching, and just move the knife right along these bones. And keep scraping and touching as you go so you don't leave any meat on your bone. Come back on the other side. Score a fine line till you feel yourself touching to the rib cage bones. Then hold it with your left fingers, index thumb, and just pull those bones straight back out. As you can see, those are some very deep-seated bones that you have on a, on a freshwater bass. Now, like it most fish have, right at the top here, you have another half a dozen bones that run down. You want to cut on both sides to the skin, come back on the other side, hold up again like a pair of pliers, pull that one strip of bones out. You have a complete fillet now without any bones in it. But with a bass, because of the, the musty taste that the skin gives off, the next thing we want to do is skin it. Next thing we want to do is use this long flexible skinning type knife, start at the tail. Hold the meat up with the knife blade. Take your other two fingers and hold on to the flesh. Once you get it, hold and pull and work in a seesaw motion back and forth. And when you finish it, you'll get a nice clean piece of filet without any meat on what you're going to throw away. You won't find a prettier piece of flesh than that bass after it's skinned. A freshwater bass kind of has a celery taste to it. So if you remove that skin, it makes it a little bit sweeter. And we'll show you how to cook it later in a recipe. Thank you.